I'm already uh, prepping Solid Snake. Must mean something, right? Is that a good idea? You guys overwhelmingly approve. I like there's a version where he looks like a, it's almost like an old man solid snake or something. He's a stealthy kind of guy, so I'm thinking he's going to be mostly in shadow. I don't know what kind of weapons he uses, whether they're contemporary or kind of future. You know what, I'm just going to give him his own gun, because then if uh, people that are diehard purists of this game will go like, oh my god, I can't believe they he gave him that gun or whatever, and I was like, whatever, dude. That's a sketch. I just want to get started so I can start talking about this weekend. So let me tell you, <clears throat> so this weekend was the inaugural uh, convention, Lake Como Comics Fest, and uh, it was very interesting. Like I mentioned in the other streams, they were trying to go for something very different. It's this uh, gigantic lake. I mean, it's just gigantic. And, and so there are all these towns that basically um, exist along the coast. And then you have this these very steep mountains that are the backdrop. And the lake is so wide, when you look at the other side of the lake, there's a blue haze. And so um, it creates almost like a, a painterly effect. It almost looks unreal, uh, like it's a movie backdrop or something. Um, so it was very romantic, um, you know. Uh, I saw a gleam in Pity's eyes, uh, schmutzily as well. They both seemed very sort of excited to be there. And uh, amazing. Uh, if there was any sort of uh, life goal, of, like where you want to live, this would be it. It was a beautiful, beautiful home uh, that someone used to live in. And now it's a convention center. Rip. Anyway. And then... At this reception, I think I've mentioned this before, it was all like comic book artists, not a single writer, and nothing against writers, but man, that that was, it's different, it's cool. It was kind of like, hey, someone's doing special, something special for, for us, and that, that was pretty cool. As he like wants a, to game. He wants to game? I guarantee it. That's the only reason he ever tells me he has no homework. You know what makes my wife happy? New dogs. We each give and take. <laughs> so we did finally get a dog. 
can I can I say what his name's gonna or her name's gonna be? Schmutz Lee. No, I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer for you. Uh, you know. Yeah, I don't. Um, it could be anything. I I don't know what kind of paper you're using. You, you kind of answer it yourself already by saying you draw rough. Maybe you shouldn't draw so rough. Uh, you know. Uh, it's a. It's a. It's. Uh, it's not the pens, it's the paper. What am I trying to say? You should figure this out yourself. That's my answer. And I know I sounds like a jerk. I sound like a complete jerk saying that, but uh, uh, find different paper. Find different markers. Keep mixing it up. Keep trying junk like this and junk like this until you find something that you like that seems to work. Um... You know, if you're holding down, there's so many different reasons why a line can can bleed. But if you're using these kind of Sakura Micron Pigma pens, it should be fine. It, it, it's your paper, but if the paper's bleeding that badly, get better paper. Uh, if you're using rough newsprint, yeah, it's going to bleed. Initiative on your part where you go, okay, maybe I shouldn't have asked that question. I had one question to ask. And I asked about, uh, you know, yeah. So what I would recommend to anyone that's just starting out, you're going to solve so many more of your own kind of questions and things just by in the doing. It's like learning a foreign language. Uh you can study the grammar, you can study the vocabulary, you can do Duolingo, you can do Rosetta Stone, you can uh, learn all the um, <sighs> data, of data, of accused, uh, data of case accusative, all that stuff means nothing until you go and actually talk to someone in that language. And the best way to learn language is just by speaking and using it, even if you make mistakes. And the more you do that, the faster you learn. And that's really how you learn a language. Uh, there are people that study five or six years of a foreign language, and they are not proficient now. They can't speak it. They can't... I don't know what they've learned. They learned something, but it's not any knowledge that uh, helps them in really communicating in that language right so that's kind of that's a better analogy I, that seems like a decent i'm gonna stick by that analogy for now don't make him feel bad guys I, look he's just asking and i thought i gave him i like giving the answers not i don't you know you say hey uh what do you like better um sweet or sour and i and i give the answer i like crispy no way that i don't like crispy so i don't know I guess I like sweet. Anyway, um, I didn't. I hope I didn't make him feel bad. And this loose, almost like kind of grifter kind of armor. The way um, Travis used to draw grifter. If this feels reminiscent. I don't know if he was influenced by this art at all or not. Isn't it funny? As soon as we gave Mason permission to game, he's out of stream. Of he, he was like, gone like a flash. He yeah, he misses us. He misses us so. For that permission. That permission, right? He was fiending for some Fortnite.
this looks like, I guess there's a character called Big Boss. If there's one thing that uh, me drawing characters I don't normally draw uh, shows is is really the lack of knowledge I have about other IP. I firmly embrace my uh, my plebe status. My plebe, my, plebe. my noob status. Confirmed. Because even though I had. Metal Gear Solid as the game. I don't know if I ever finished it. There's so many games that I start and just don't finish. And that's what happens. People say, well, how do you uh, how do you have nine kids? How do you get through it? Well, I, uh, I've answered this before. I, I don't golf. And uh, I haven't finished a video game since 1982. Capish, capite, capite. Romantic setting, okay. Uh, it hit me really hard in the schmutzlies. I felt it um, for sure. That's when I realized, okay, I gotta get off this train. There's no end to it. There's no point where I get all powerful, and. Uh, don't ever have to grind again. This feels like real life, and then I was out. That realization, that epiphany. Anyway, on the artist. Um, Western continent. What is the Western? There is no... I'm just making up stuff. Uh, what is it called? Uh, the West. Western civilization? I don't know. There are people from France. There were... There were people... There were like four or five people from Switzerland. Basel. Zurich. Um, that was a uh, un sacco de italiani. Uh, that was one Dutchman, I believe. Um, Spaniard. One American, but he was he was stationed near Verona, I believe, something like that. So, and then the crowd, there were American art dealers, but artists from really all over. So, again, very cool. And we all had really uh, spiffy little areas. Can I say sp spiffy? Do you guys know what that means? Spliff has kind of a different meaning these days. Um, anyway. And people were able to get sketches. Some of these, some of the artists that were there, I think, just normally sketched all the time. Um, Enrico Marini was there. Uh, he lives in Basel, Switzerland. He's the uh, writer-artist of... Batman Dark Prince Charming, really talented guy, very funny and very sweet, he was a really nice guy, I had a couple meals with him and he gave me this, if I could show off for a moment, pretty cool. Very cool. And actually, this is a Batman that my wife and River picked out. I want more with this. And he gave me this too as an extra one. He said, Hey, just pick one that you want. And so I let my wife and kid decide. And I, and I said, Oh, I, I bet I know what they're going to pick. And this is the one I secretly thought they were going to pick. Oh, I was wrong. But I got an extra sketch out of it. Cool little trick, huh? Um, but he's coming to San Diego Comic-Con. So for those of you uh, 
that want to practice your Swiss German, he'll be there. Um, we had dinner in um, in uh, Paris a while back, and we both kind of dedicated uh, in his book, and he did uh, a piece for me. I believe it was uh, Eagles of Rome. Anyway. Um, I didn't get the vibe like, hey, I'm giving you this because I want to trade. He, he was just giving it to me out of the kindness, you know. I, so, unless I um, was a complete jerk and he's right now telling his wife, like, I, you know, zwei, ich hab ihn zwei Skizze gegeben and hat mir nix zurückgegeben. I can't, I can't even. It was just like hanging out, and then it was like uh, in the daytime, it was like one in the morning or something. You started streaming a page, and I started watching, and then uh, I was like, wow, he talks a lot. Hurry up and draw. That's what he said to me. <laughs> he was channeling uh, Superhero Swimmer or Crispy or something. I'm like, anyway, he's a funny guy. And uh, very smart, you can tell. Just intelligent guy. Projects till the end of time. But uh, he wanted to do a project with Batman, and he basically created his own version, the Batman universe. And it's been very successful for us. The uh, second half of the story comes out. I want to say June, and uh, he'll be in San Diego to San Diego Comic Con to uh, promote it. And so, you guys should, uh, any of you guys that are coming out, pick up the book and come to his panel, or signing, or whatever. And you can tell him the story of, yeah, I heard on Jim's Twitch stream that uh, you gave him some sketches, he gave you nothing. How does that make you feel? Isn't Jim a jerk? By the way, uh, my pen line bleeds. Is there anything you could advise me? The oh, Jim, that was just a low blow, you know. He just unsubscribed. Ooh, I, I you know sometimes I don't know uh, how powerful my words can be. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Um, yeah, that was harsh. I, uh, okay, I don't know. I guess the reason why it went that way is because he said, hey, I asked this question like four times or something. You haven't responded. And so I thought like it was going to be like this really important question. And maybe it was. I don't know. Yeah, Jim Bully. Uh, I'm going to have to delete this video too. Sorry. So guys, enjoy the stream while it's happening live. I'm going to be deleting it in a second. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not. Hopefully if you felt... Uh, well, he'll come around. That's, that's He'll be back next week. Or not. I don't know. Roman gladiator style. Just draw, dude. You're right. I should just draw. It. <laughs> you know what? That's that's the answer uh, to almost every art question. It's a variation of just draw, dude. That's good. I like that. You guys have contributed to my repertoire of answers. Go ahead. People in the stream, go ahead. Ask. Ask some questions right now. Like, ask some any art questions. Let's see if that answer works nine times out of ten. Okay, you guys are putting words in my mouth that I did not say. That I would never attack anyone personally. 
uh, I, I'm gonna stop. Uh, let's pick another topic. This is making me feel uncomfortable. I feel guilty. I just felt it was an important question. Although, if I were uh, watching like Shroud, it would be like me watching Shroud's uh, PUBG stream. And uh, if I cheered or something, he said, okay, I would be like, hey, 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 Shroud, Shroud, I got, I got a question for you, dude. I, you haven't answered my question. Can I please? And he'd be like, "Oh, uh, who's this Jim guy? Jim. All right, what, whatever. What's your question, dude?" As he's mowing down people left and right, and I'd be like, um, uh, "What are your What are your uh, key bindings?" Right now, I can only hear Ren Elephant and Crispy laughing. They're laughing because they know that it doesn't matter what the key bindings I, I would use because I knew someone would be a smarty pants and say yeah like what I don't know how to draw feet can I tell you something the feet are the easiest thing to draw the fact that I don't draw feet is my disdain for having to draw feet anyone can draw feet If I could make, if I could draw a gun from scratch out of my head, you think I can't draw feet on the ground? Just draw it, dude. You guys stick to chat. I'll stick to drawing. All right, how's that? Don't bring in politics to this. Just draw, a dude. Emoji. Just draw, a dude. <laughs> Guys, if we raid uh, a digital artist tonight, uh, Kate's probably going to pick up. Uh, I want you guys to ask the digital artist, hey, what are your um, Cintiq key bindings? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I've got to stop. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, it's an inside joke. Uh, it's not, the joke's not on the person. I think I just want to see the resp I mean, look, they're going to be very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're going to be very, what is it? Earnest. They're going to be very earnest. They're going to give you a real answer because they don't want to, they don't want to be a bully. They want to be a, they want to scare off a potential follower, subscriber, whatever. Um, but I, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, just bind your own keys. Try it out. Hey, what about this question? Someone says, um, hey, I've been drawing a lot every day for about six months and I'm not seeing improvement in the quality of my work. I think that's a, that's a legit question. The answer to that would be, just draw a dude, right? That, but that's a good question and that's a good answer. That is the answer, actually. People do, uh, like, sometimes people show me their work and they go, like, do you think I could get professional work? And I, I wouldn't give them professional work just yet. Um, and they go like, well, what's holding me back? And a lot of times, I don't have a specific answer. Sometimes you can just say, hey, uh, this perspective is off. This figure work is stiff. Um, you, you don't know how to draw feet. Uh, you know, um, or you're, you, you're avoiding drawing feet because uh, I do see that. Um, and I don't want to imply that hey if you just fix those things you could get professional work because then in my opinion that's not that's not these are these are reasons why you're not getting work it's not if you fix them it's it's like if you get a paper you write a paper and you get a C and they say well you didn't touch on this this and this I guess if you address those issues would you get an A I don't know sometimes a person just writes a C paper they just you, you read it it's a C level paper uh, Regard, you know, sometimes you get uh, C on a paper and it says all oh, these things were uh, grammatically incorrect and you misspell these words, but sometimes people think, well, if I just fix the spelling and fix the grammar, uh, I have an A paper. No, you still have a C paper. 
uh, I just had to I just had to give you reasons why it's a seat paper. But at the end of the day, it's a seat paper. <clears throat> so what I'm trying to say is, sometimes the answer really is just keep drawing, dude. Because in the doing, just like a foreign language, that's the only way you get better. It's absolutely the only way you get better. You can go online and ask uh, professional artists a million questions. They can give you earnest fully realized answers of why uh, ink bleeds on certain paper based on humidity, type of marker, how rough you're applying the, the, the pen, the angle of pressure, uh, the tooth of the paper, um, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, it does not make you a better artist. It just gives you more knowledge that really has nothing to do with drawing. The answer is just draw dude, right? There we go. All right. Oof. And actually, that was uh, advice that was given to me by Terry Austin. I showed him my, my portfolio. I said, like, what do you think? And I could tell he didn't want to not answer it, but <clears throat> you can tell when people don't want to necessarily get into it. Because the answer probably in his head was like, it's just not good. You know, he probably saw my stuff, my early stuff. And said, it's just not good. I was saying, like, what do you think? And he's, in his head, he's thinking, it's just not good. Um, but he gave me the benefit of the answer, and I still remember it to this day, and I essentially just said it just now, which is, uh, you just need to draw more. You draw more, and it'll get better. And how did he know that? It's, it's brilliant. And uh has nothing to do with uh, getting the right answers to the questions, but it probably has to do with like, hey, if you do more of it, you will start seeing what happens if you change this and change that, and you get more comfortable with drawing certain things, or you, uh, you know, drawing is a, is a series of uh, questions that are thrown at you that you don't have the answers for, but after a while, you start recognizing the same question slightly worded differently and you're able to uh, provide an answer and maybe that answer is literally like ja ich uh, ich spiele Fußball but then the next time you get the question is like yeah ich habe, ge ich habe Fußball ich habe Fußball gern or ich möchte kein Fußball spielen and then before you know, you're you're, you're you're saying whole paragraphs about foosball. Man, I need to get home. Okay, I put that leg back here. Why did I put it over here? I don't know. Whatever. All right, this is snake. I don't know what what's the auction at. You know, it's on the uh, Discord. I don't have it open. We keep track of where I, I believe we're at sub 10, 25. Five means anyone that is subscribed, whether you subscribe through uh, Amazon Prime, Twitch Prime, whatever. I want to do the Forest Ranger emote. I'll tell you that the... is such good ink. It goes on opaquely. But it's 
smooth. That guy did split. Yikes. He's probably a kid too. I feel bad. I feel bad, bad. Uh, yeah, so the con, um, so yeah, my fear was that it would not be very well attended, in which case I'd be sitting there for hours, uh, with the prospect of signing, you know, hundreds of books brought by a fan, because, I mean, it's like, hey, you're here, I'm here, well, you're not doing anything, why don't you sign all my books? And I'll just say that uh, I don't mind signing a lot of books. You guys bought them. I appreciate the support. But, yeah, there should be some, uh, not rule. I don't know. And I assume people are happy with that, but I don't know. A, because I need to get my own sketches done. These commissions or whatever that I had promised for the show. And, um, I don't know, I think people probably didn't like being told no, but, uh, I don't know, what can you do? <clears throat> that said, I think I did just the right number, or my art rep and I picked just the right number of commissions to do. I think at the end of the day it was six pieces that I had to do. I posted one up, which was the Catwoman holding the Thanos, um, power glove there are um, two others three others no four others I can share which I will do after this stream is over oh, look at this wobbly silencer it's I gotta straighten that up there and it's a piece that I owed um, my friend's son since the time he was born and he's like 12 now so yeah a long time ago he had done some art for my kids of uh, Naruto actually the kids were really into Naruto back in the day I said I'll hook you up brother cut to 12 years later yeah I suck this should just be like, yeah, yeah, that's no good, no good. Now we're told, I don't know. I actually cosplayed as a character from that uh, that series. I went to. Um, Anime Expo, I think, with my kids. They were all in cosplay. I was so I was just cosplaying with them. They were they were young, and uh, obviously no one knows who I am in the, in the manga uh, at, at those conventions. So I was just kind of walking around. I got stopped by a person for a photograph because they liked my costume. And I said, "Get away! Just 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 draw." No. I obliged them. I took a photo of that with them. So someone out there has a cosplay photo of them and me, and I'm dressed up as uh, the old man from uh, Naruto. And, uh, yeah. That was cute. That was fun. If I duck very quickly... You'll know why. No. 
got a bubble. And don't worry, my kids give me uh, trouble all the time. Like, uh, you know, Jackson gets to be a puppy dog. River gets to be a unicorn. My wife gets to be a pony. Uh, I get to be a rat. <laughs> a creepy rat. I think that's the last thing that, you know. Anyway. Yeah.
at Sailor Moon to it. Yeah, I'm going to put every single anime character in here. I put Pikachu. Where can I put Pikachu? Yeah. Mario Brothers. Oh, wait. They're not anime characters. <laughs> oh, boy. I do actually know more about this stuff than I let on. Sure you do, Jim. Yeah, I do. It's just funnier if I can just roll with it. Mm-hmm. That's not even lined up. Good job. Okay, this is almost done, for sure. It's fun to do. Yeah, the cosplay picture I have, I think uh, DC actually set up a table at that one time I went because we had a CMX line. And I'm there, I think there's a photo of me and Dustin Wynn, he was there. And uh, he's obliging me. <clears throat> I think the picture's already been posted before. stop with this one here. But don't spam. Just just one time. That's all you have to do. Just do it once and you're eligible. A little droopy silencer. Adding a couple of little last minute details here. Sorry, I can't help it. Something looks wrong. I have to fix it. I think it's, it's helped me get to where I am in my business and my career. Having a little bit of OCD about the final kind of product.